Does epoxy stick to metal? That's the question I'm going to answer today. And the reason why is in the previous video, I talked a lot about epoxy on other surfaces, but many of you asked about metal. And uh, the first thing I want to clarify is there are two ways we can look at this. We can talk about just metal sheets and large metal surfaces. Um, usually we will talk more about metal sheets in this uh, video. And the reason is metal sheets, we often use them to bridge or to connect two separate components of the floor. Here's an example of a bridge. This is a metal ramp that, let's say you have two different levels on your floor and you just use this ramp to connect one floor to the other. And a lot of times I get customers who say, can you just also, when you're gonna do the floor, can you also paint this metal ramp? Yeah, that's a, a common question. And well, can you do it? And will it break? And will the paint stick to the metal? And here is another picture of a metal sheet. And I'm going to show you, this is a real uh, project we did where if you see in the circle, there is a flat metal sheet. And the reason we, that metal sheet was put there was because underneath there was some humidity going up the joints. So the customer covered that area up with a metal sheet. And then he asked if we can make the floor the same color. Um, well, the, the metal sheet, the same color as the floor. And we did it. But I am going to talk to you why it was uh, done the way it was done. And very, very important, when you do decide to coat on metal sheets, you should always make it a very thin layer. You don't want to have any thickness on a metal sheet. And the reason why is the two points I'm going to talk about now, that's adhesion and flexibility. Um, adhesion is you want to make sure that the paint will stick to the metal. And flexibility is, well, because metal is quite flexible and it can just jump around a lot, epoxy cannot follow that that flexibility so that's why if you are going to paint over metal you want to make it a very thin coating and this is what i'm talking about here any epoxy on metal should always be applied in a very thin and di diluted coating as well you may want to add more thinner to make it a very uh, low thickness maybe you use a very small roller and don't even consider doing a self-leveling on metal that will not work forget it and before you actually do the metal coating, you want to use a primer. Definitely always apply a primer in metal surfaces. And I always recommend a low viscosity, a, a runny epoxy primer. Um, or even you can use a primer that's specially made for metal surfaces. You don't even have to use an epoxy primer. Just go get a primer that's for metal surfaces. If you do use an epoxy, make sure it's low viscosity. You don't want to use those uh, high solids primers that are like honey texture. Because that stuff will never stick on metal. And going further about how we can get epoxy to stick on metal, one is you want to be doing some light sanding with sandpaper, even by hand, just lightly sand, try to get as much as roughness as you can out of the metal. Um, again, use a runny primer that will penetrate the surface. Make it runny, either you buy a special primer for metal or just use an epoxy primer that's been run down, that's, that's diluted. And an important point, untreated steel tends to work better in adhesion. And I'm going to talk about that more now. Well, I'm not an expert on metal and treatment on metals. So please forgive me if I make a few mistakes in the way I describe this stuff. But as a general point, I'm going to show you these two pictures here. And this is aluminum and stainless steel. If you try applying epoxy on these surfaces, it will be very difficult to get proper bonding. These surfaces have been treated in a certain way which makes any sort of external impact difficult. In other words, they're made like this because we don't want them to rust. This is one of the reasons why people prefer stainless steel or they prefer aluminum because they don't want it to rust. The problem is that when something does not rust, it means it in general, it will not be very welcoming for any sort of chemical bonding because rust is a process of, of a chemical reaction. Um, just like in this picture here, this rust is because of a chemical reaction. The, the, the steel oxidized and it caused this r r rust. So in the exact same sense, this surface here is better to get epoxy to stick to it than these surfaces here. Obviously, if you were to paint over this rusted, you would definitely want to uh, clean the rust with a sanding. You want to sand the rust off first. You also want to apply a primer, preferably a primer for rust and a metal primer for rust, and then you can paint over. What I'm saying is though, if a surface can rust, it's probably better, it will probably stick to it, epoxy will stick to it better. Another important point that you may need to recoat epoxy and metal more often, and that is the reason is because 
the bonding will never be perfect. You you might start getting some light chipping after a while. Um, so yeah, be prepared that maybe after one or two years you may have to recoat the area, uh, the metal area, and you want to tell the customer that too. And that's one of the reasons why I advise against painting large surfaces with metal, the, the large metal surfaces. But I, I get it that often you have a metal bridge, a ramp, or something that wants to be painted. So just prepare your customer that yes, I can coat over metal like I showed in the pictures before, but it's uh, it's not a it's a process that may need repeating after a few years. And finally, when you consider coating over metals, you may just want to get a paint for metal and just go to a paint store and ask a paint that's specifically formulated for metal because these are probably better than epoxy paints. I mean, epoxy paints have been designed for floors and and the, the issue here is, of course, there are some epoxy paints for metals, but I'm not going to go into that now. I understand that many times contractors, they do a floor and the customer just asks, can you also paint this metal surface for me? Um, in that sense, yes, I get it why you just want to use the same paint. But if you're just looking at painting over a metal surface, just go get a metal paint to start with rather than looking for epoxy that will stick to metal. Anyway, you can check out these links with uh, more stuff on epoxies and on what surfaces they stick to. Don't forget we have a great epoxy flooring online course. If you want to learn about flooring, if you want to get organized, set up your own team. This is a great course that will sort of introduce you to epoxy floors and you can start taking on projects and be more confident in taking on projects. Remember, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel and click on that little bell so you get notified, it helps my channel grow and it helps me bring out more videos. Thank you very much for watching, everyone.